Once upon a time, dinosaurs roamed the Virginia countryside. They most certainly did. An active volcano was carving out the landscape. The city of Martinsville is actually built on the roots of an ancient volcano. And the story of our earthly home was beginning to evolve. It's all here at the brand new Virginia Museum of Natural History in Martinsville that just opened. This museum has now been brought to life. What a glorious day for this community. It is a great day. These exhibits are treasures for Southside, indeed for all of Virginia. And our collective welcome to all of the friends of the museum assembled here today. Our job now is to help the museum reach its highest potential. A commitment to every little child who comes into this museum. If any one of those governors had taken a total axe to this endeavor, we wouldn't be here today. I had a tour of the museum, and I think it's a fabulous and wonderful space, a wonderful addition to the community and the state of Virginia. And it's right here on Starling Avenue in Martinsville, Virginia. That is extraordinary. It took determination and money and dedication from many corporations and individuals and from the state to build the world's newest natural history museum that replaces a little schoolhouse on Douglas Avenue with an 89,000 square foot state-of-the-art museum. And it was time to celebrate. And we really appreciate the new building we have here. To Tim Many of those major contributors attended a special reception in their honor. And a gala. for this event which has been long awaited and represents such a great partnership of so many different actors, the private sector and philanthropists, government, uh, local government, state government, all having come together and look at the result. What a spectacular design. This museum will, uh, will educate generations of young and old alike and also be a spectacular economic development asset here in Martinsville. So despite the fact that we are here just for, but for a millisecond against the history that this museum demonstrates, we each have an opportunity to be wonderful leaders, to, to move our communities forward, to move the Martinsville and Henry County area forward, to move Virginia forward, and that's what this museum is a tribute to. There is no better time, Tim, to open this off than in 2007. Thousands and thousands and thousands over the generations will come here and give thanks to those who planned it and worked so hard to make it happen. It happened the next day as the very first visitors came to see the museum. And there's a lot here to see. A high definition theater, 22 million artifacts, six exhibitions of how Virginia evolved over the past 300 million years. And this is a small meat-eating dinosaur, maybe ooh, three or four feet tall. It's entertaining, but the museum is also about education also and serious the research. There are eight scientists on staff. You can watch them work extracting a whale's skull from protective plaster or working on dinosaur bones. It's always nice when we have a student that comes in of any age, college student all the way down to elementary school that gets inspired. The museum offers school tours and lessons here 
and outreach programs and study opportunities. And even though most research is done here in Virginia, some of it extends as far as China. Dr. Nick Fraser discovered fossils and friends and similarities about how the Earth evolved here and on the other side of the world. This tells the whole story of the evolution of birds from dinosaurs. It just sits, it's encapsulated in this one specimen here for me. It's just a gorgeous specimen of a dinosaur. Small dinosaur. That friendship has brought some very rare exhibits here. We are still sharing and still learning where we came from, where we're going, how we can be good stewards of the earth we inherited from all the creatures who came before us. Yes, and some child coming to the museum who becomes a scientist might decide that's a worthwhile thing to study. We have never found a dinosaur bone in Virginia, so it's my goal to find that first dinosaur bone or to encourage students, you know, maybe a five-year-old today will find the first dinosaur bone. Come and sink your teeth into some real natural history. At the Virginia Museum of Natural History in Martinsville.